Hello everyone, today I'm going to be answering your questions. If you want to ask a question, make sure to put it in the comments below. Alright, now that you know what's going on, let's get on to the first question. Question 1. Why is Iceland named Iceland and Greenland named Greenland? In 868, a Norseman Viking named sailed to Iceland intentionally. At the time, Iceland didn't really have a name, so Hrafna Floki ran up a mountain and saw a fjord full of icebergs. And with his logic at the time, he called it Iceland. And since then, it has always been called Iceland. Now onto Greenland. Greenland was named by an Icelandic murderer named Eric. He was exiled to Greenland, but then decided to call it Greenland in hopes that the name would try attracting settlers. Fun fact, according to scientists, Greenland was apparently a lot more green about 2.5 million years ago. Question 2. How did Washington DC get its name? If you're American, this should be pretty obvious, but the District of Columbia, or the Federal Territories, was surprisingly named after the one and only Christopher Columbus. Now for the obvious part, the actual city of Washington was named after the first president of the United States, George Washington. Not so fun fact, after the British burned down the White House, the capital of the United States was temporarily moved to the capital of Maryland, which is Annapolis. Question 3. Why does Point Roberts, Washington exist? If you don't know what Point Roberts is, it is a little peninsula that is cut off of mainland Washington and mainland USA. There are no schools in Point Roberts, so the bus has to drive all the way through Canada and into Blaine, Washington. Point Roberts is just below the 49th parallel, and also how the Oregon Treaty was signed. Question 4. Why does Namibia have a panhandle? When Germany was colonizing Africa, and especially Namibia, they thought that the Zambezi River extended all the way to the Indian Oceans, and so they kept colonizing until they hit Victoria Falls, which was then they stopped colonizing. The Panhandle extended all the way out for 280 miles, or 450 kilometers. Question 5. This question is for non-Americans. Why does the United States flag have stars and stripes? The flag of the United States is one of the most known flags in the world, and I have to be honest, it has a pretty unique design. The stars in the flag have a meaning, yes, all 50. The stars represent each and every US state in the country. The stripes, however, also have a meaning. If you count the stripes, you'll end up with 13. Why 13, you may ask? There are 13 stripes representing the original 13 colonies. Georgia, South Carolina, North Carolina, Virginia, which at the time had West Virginia, Maryland, Delaware, Pennsylvania, New Jersey, New York, which had Vermont at the time, Connecticut, Rhode Island, Massachusetts, which had Maine at the time, and New Hampshire. Finally, on to question six. Why is the color purple so rare in flags? The purple color in flags are really expensive and hard to find. Only two national flags in the world have purple in it. Dominica on the bird and Nicaragua on the rainbow. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to see more videos like this or any new video suggestions, make sure to comment below, make sure to like and subscribe, and have a good day, night, evening, or morning, whatever time it is for you. And bye!